I love taking a new feature that we came up with in some meeting, put it through a development process and a testing process, and then brought it into our system and actually delivered it to a customer as a deliverable. It's extremely satisfying. My name is Alan Matthew. I'm the Research and Development Manager at Plank Aero Systems. We're here in the Chula Vista Marina in San Diego. Plank Aero Systems makes multi-rotor aircraft for the maritime industry. I evaluate and test new software, new hardware. I direct the engineering efforts towards creating new functionality in our systems to improve their capability. This is our simulation environment. So we're able to actually simulate the quadcopter without actually having to fly in the real world. To get to this point, it's been roughly two years of development effort. Weekly, we get to come out on our own boat and test our UAV system. So we drive out in the bay or out into the ocean, testing new software, testing new systems, testing new applications. This is the landing platform that we use. So the drone finds this pattern, looking down, and actually lands dead center. Um, this comes down on the boat. So that's how we find where the boat is. We also kind of use this to designate a landing area. The biggest problem that Plank Aero Systems has solved is the ability to launch and recover drone from a boat. The boat is moving. Normally, you don't have to deal with a landing platform that's moving. So we had to write a lot of software, do a lot of simulation, do a lot of math to solve the problem of putting one thing that's moving around on another thing that's moving around and do it very accurately and safely. And it took the better part of a year and a half to really get that nailed down. Three, two, one. The best engineers are made from people who have a lot of creativity. The sort of crossover between an artist and an engineer is pretty close. You have to be very creative about solving problems. Engineers need to be very detail-oriented. They need to be methodical and careful about how they solve problems. So to actually land on the boat, uh, I had to pick hardware that would support the software that we use to, to actually control the drone and land. So I had to pick the autopilot, I had to pick the camera, I had to pick the computer that does all of the control work, and I had to pick the radio to communicate with the, with the boat. I have a master's degree in aerospace engineering and 10 years of experience, a lot of them either aerospace or maritime. We have a lot of other engineers who have bachelor's or master's degrees in some type of software discipline or engineering discipline. So Plank is a blue tech company. Blue tech is any type of technology which applies to the maritime industry, and the maritime industry could be a very wide net. And anything that's gonna go on some type of vessel that's on or near the water. We focus heavily on the maritime industry. You can have a very good life as a with an engineering degree coming into the blue tech space. You know, entry level with a college degree is eighty to hundred thousand dollars, and it goes up from there. I love my job because I get to build drones, because I get to design software, get to test new things, get to put really expensive cameras up in the air. I love everything about my job.